Hello everyone, welcome to the second tutorial video of Maths 2 week 2. So let us consider the function fx equal to cos x. So in the lecture you have seen how to calculate the derivative of sin x using the definition of derivative. So in this tutorial we will try to uh, calculate uh, the derivative of cos x using the definition. So the definition of the derivative was f dash x is nothing but limit of h tending to 0 f of x plus h minus f of x by h as is h tends to 0. So if this limit exists then the derivative exists otherwise the derivative does not exist. So let us try to find uh, what is the derivative of cos x in this case. So what is f of x plus h? So f of x plus h is cos of x plus h that is cos x cos h minus sin x sin h. Now what is fx? fx is cos x. So f of x plus h minus f of x that will give us cos x cos h minus sin x sin h minus cos x. So this will give us cos x we can take common. So cos h minus 1 minus of sin x sin h. Yeah, so we take this uh, bracketed term uh, which are dependent on h. So cos h minus 1, now this we can write further that we know that cos of 2a is cos square a minus sin square a. So in our high school trigonometry we knew this formula. So here our h is 2a. So cos of h that can be written as cos square h by 2 minus sin square h by 2. And this 1 can be written as cos square h by 2 plus sin square h by 2. So cos h minus 1 this can be written as cos square h by 2 minus sin square h by 2 minus cos square h by 2 minus sin square h by 2. So this will give us minus 2 sin square h by 2. So this we can simplify to cos x into minus 2 sin square h by 2 minus sin x sin h. So this is the thing we got in the uh, numerator of this uh, limit of this fraction. So we can write it as limit of h tending to 0 cos x minus 2 sin square h by 2 minus sin x sin h by h and limit h tending to 0. So this we can separate in two limit. Uh, so we can write it as limit h tending to 0 cos x minus 2 sin square h by 2 by h and this we can write as limit h tending to 0 sin x sin h by h. So this is what we got in the earlier page. Now what we will do, uh, we will take this minus 2 and this cos x, these two are independent of h, so we will take that outside the limit. So this will give us limit h tending to 0, sin square h by 2 and h by h. So we can write it as h square by 4 and it will be h by 4. So this will cancel out and it will, uh, in the denominator there will be h. So we have written the same thing. Now why we have written this, we will see after a few minutes. So in this side again, we can take uh, sin x outside as this is independent of h and then we got limit h tending to 0 sin h by h. Now this is minus 2 cos x and limit h tending to 0. So this is sin h by 2 by h by 2 whole square into h by 4 and this is sin x and this is tending to 
1. We know that uh, limit of sin h by h, h tends to 0, this is 1. So, this will give us sin x. So, and in this portion, as h is tending to 0, as h is tending to 0, h by 2 also tends to 0. And this will give us limit of h tending to 0, sin h by 2, by h by 2, this whole square, this is tending to, this is basically 1. And so, this part is going to 1 and this part is going to 0. So, the product will go to 0. So, this is minus 2 cos x into 0 minus sin x. So, this I just separate out here. Okay. So, what we got? We got 0 minus sin x that is minus sin of x. So, the derivative of cos x uh, we got we have derived from the definition and we got it is minus of sin x. And now let us try to visualize this using uh, graphs or using GeoGebra. So, in GeoGebra we can see that the graph of the cos x is look, uh, look like this. Uh, it is an uh, oscillatory function. So, it looks like this at 0 basically it is uh, going to 1. Now, if we want to see the tangent, that's how the slope of the tangent changes uh, along this x axis, along the points on, on this curve. So, we can see that, yeah, that's how the slope of the tangent changes. So, the slope is changing in an oscillatory function. If, as you can see in this animation. Okay. Now, uh, so as we have calculated, the derivative of this function is nothing but min, minus of sin x, that is this new curve which we can see. So, if I remove the curve cos x, so this is the uh, curve minus sin x, which is the derivative of cos x, and you can see that the slope of the tangent is basically changing uh, by this function minus of sin x. So, this is the derivative of the function cos x. Thank you.